Mr. John Ross has come by to spend some time with you, to talk to you, share some words of wisdom to you. Hey, he said right here at this school, just like you. Okay? So anyway, give a round of applause once you meet Mr. John Ross. I tell kids this all the time when I go talk to kids in middle school. Like, when I was growing up, I don't know when you graduate, but it was it was funny to guys that we were getting good grades. Like, you got a B? Like, mm -hmm. well, you got a 3.8? Like, nobody, nobody care. Like, now it's like, you get a 3.8, now everybody like, well, he's smart. You know what I'm saying? Back then it was like, you a clown. Yeah. Like, I'm like, so I started looking at that like, it's, it's funny to get good grades to y'all? Like, it's funny to go to college. And now the, the same guys who used to laugh, be the same guys congratulate me. And as crazy as it sounds, it's just, that's how life works. You know what I'm saying? It comes in a full circle. Like, <laughs> You, you, it's either you going to take it serious right now, in life right now, or you going to be wishing that you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have any regrets, like real regrets, coming out of high school. Because I felt like everybody who came back and talked to me who was successful, I listened to everything they said. Because who am I to sit there and not listen and tell them that they don't know what they're talking about? They made it. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it out of here and do something with your life is making it. Everybody feel like, oh, because I'm not a a rapper or an athlete or I'm about to be the next president, I can't be successful. It's not true. I know a lot of guys, especially when you start networking, I know guys who play video games for a living and they made it, but only because they, they, they it was part of their crime. You know what I'm saying? They stuck to it, they got serious, and it was something that they were serious about. A lot of guys don't believe in themselves and they feel like they got to do what everybody else is doing. But I'm telling you right now, everybody in this, y'all got to all be in the same field, whether y'all got the same dreams or not. All your dreams not gonna come true, and that's just the reality of it. Like all my dreams didn't come true, but I guarantee you, if I got 20 dreams, I'm gonna make one work because I'm gonna go hard every day. I was telling somebody earlier, it wasn't so much that advice Snoop was giving me; it was just how tough he was on us. You know what I'm saying? How hands-on he was. Like, cause you look at somebody like that at the time, how much like he's still a superstar. He was like a mega star when I was a kid. Like, like his album Blue Carpet Treatment was was going crazy. He put us on a little video. Uh, had a song on the album about us, so it was like, we were like little superstars at the time, so um, he would always just be like tough on me, <laughs> excuse me, like tough on me, and it was just like every time he was, would be tough on me, I, my game would change, like, you know, at halftime, he'd be like, gosh, you, you playing soft, like, you gotta turn it up, like, you the best on the team, you know what I'm saying, and it would just, all right, you know what I'm saying, and once he did that, I would, the whole game would change, I'm right back in my rhythm, so it was, it was a, more of him just him showing us love and showing us the way, kind of like, and that's kind of what helped me, like, man. And he really wanted to, the, like, I don't give him enough thanks. He he really one of the biggest reasons why I like to give back so much. Cause it's like, man, you did all this for me and all these kids, and, and uh, it just kind of helped me, like, put put in perspective for me, like, I need to be doing the same thing. If there's one thing y'all need to take away from each other is y'all really need to push each, each like, y'all need to push one another. That's the only way y'all gonna be good. It's the only way. If y'all really want to be good, you gonna have to take it serious. If you really want to, if you don't want to do this right now, you you really, you, you you're not, you're doing yourself a disservice. Honestly, if you really don't want to be a football player. You're wasting your time because it's like you, there's so many things you can go and do out there. Like, but like I said, not only are you wasting your time, you're wasting everybody else's time around you. So you really gotta take it serious. Everything you do every single day gotta be toward what you want to do in life. Y'all, like I said, y'all all got talent. But it's like, do y'all believe in each other? Do y'all actually really like each other? The good teams in the world, look at the locker room. Just ask anybody. If you ever run into like Patrick Mahomes or anything, ask them, ask them about the locker room. My locker room is like, the losing teams I've been on, it was separated. It was like, it was almost like cool kids hanging with the cool, like good players hanging with the good players, don't talk to nobody. But when I was in college, we wasn't going for that. It was. We used to have WWE wrestling matches in in the locker room, all type of stuff. It was crazy. It was just like, what, some days I just would sit back and watch. Like, damn, we came a long way. We went from being six and four to to uh, like eight and four to going to the playoffs and playing Alabama. And nobody thought we was gonna be able to do that. But I saw it in the summer. Like, everybody was disciplined. We wasn't getting called back doing our workouts. Everybody was on time. We probably had one guy late, <coughs> car troubles or something. But it was like we was all focused and we all had a, a mission. Y'all gotta have a goal 
But just think about that's how life worked though. Like when you in a team sport, y'all have to move as a unit. There's never been a Super Bowl or a national champion or a high school state champion who where it was like only four guys that was working as a team and they completed the mission. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You gotta win your one on ones, you gotta win your one on ones, but you know what that all translates to? If if all eleven guys winning, what is what does that look like? Y'all win it. Like, I'm not getting nothing from this. I can care less about what they can give me. I'm coming back because I want it. I genuinely, genuinely want to see you guys do good. Like, great. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I hate seeing y'all lose. I was part of losing seasons here. I went to the playoffs one time. So if I can be part of that culture that changes what's going on around here, I want to be a part of it. Just because that's just who I am.